Que onda, wey? Welcome to this player guys. test where I take a look at Juan Pablo Añor, the 22 year old right mid who has a 76 overall. So, some very nice stats from start. So, there's plenty of room between that overall's potential. Also, despite being 20 years old, 22 years old, excuse me, uh, you can take a look at that play information now. Uh, so, you can see he's a bit short, uh, 5 foot 7 right mid slash cam, left foot with medium work rates, 3 star weak foot, 3 star skin. A lot of his work rates are actually probably more suited to be a cam and a center mid, in my opinion. I definitely think those, those would be suitable roles for him uh, to be maybe even playing a little bit deeper uh, and utilizing that passing but still influencing the game with his ball control dribbling and uh, putting in some good crosses and finishing some changes when he does get forward and get into the box uh, so uh, we'll see how he grows over the years though some good improvement to the pace but I, have to, I do have to say some of the growth physically was a bit underwhelming uh, actually I was expecting a lot more growth there but still very good improvement to the dribbling and finishing finishing all the way up to the 81 mark is very solid uh, so some nice improvements in some of those tackle stats but uh, did grow a bit uh, uh, slowly and in some ways uh, I would say uh, compared to you know the majority of players do hit their potential when they're at 25 or 26 it does seem like uh, but I think the fact that he had that big gap between his own and potential despite being 22 year old, years old might have affected that but uh, 85 overall age 27 uh, this is actually essentially what he would cap out at uh, which was a bit strange we'll take a look at it a little bit more later um, I think it's kind of what happened in the Enzo Fernandez video which I did explain uh, basically he actually reached his potential in a different position than he He's listed at so uh, he was very good on the ball though that dribbling was very solid uh, you can create some chances like that instead of going for goal I, sh I just cut back the cut the ball back when I should have probably gone for a nice little finish but uh, for some reason cutting in from the wing like this I'm an absolutely awful finisher so there are quite a few other highlights that did not show because they're kind of embarrassing because uh, it was just me dribbling and then I uh, like playing awful uh, shots putting awful sh efforts on goal but uh, yeah you can see a few here like a few highlights here and there it's not the best agility but occasionally can go on some nice runs kind of why I do think maybe he's best as playing a little bit deeper as a center mid in like a 4-3-3 uh, I don't think you want him as a like uh, j just a 4-4-2 flat formation you don't want him as a centerman in that in my opinion but in like a 4-3-3 uh, where he has some other support defensively and he can be really solid as a center mid but still did a good job cutting in playing some nice passes creating some opportunities getting some assists also so certainly it's up to you where you want to play him just personally uh, he did feel a bit sluggish at times because his agility I mean it's decent but it's not super high and then he doesn't have that really breakout speed there's a lot if you want like a really pacey winger he's not going to be that type of guy but uh, again 85 overall he reached that the previous season um but yeah it, his stats did not grow too much physically which is a bit strange uh, the judy balance barely improved of the pace went up a, a, a decent amount a tad but not as much as usual ball control dribbling finishing passing however went up a lot uh you can see uh, long shots actually did not improve a bit uh so he had some weird growth in all honesty the crossing didn't improve much either if that crossing would have went up his his uh overall bit definitely would have went up as a right mid also uh but he does have the dribbler especially at the least still a very solid player I just don't think he would be the best as a general right mid or a winger. I think he'd get better centrally maybe. And that kind of shows that here. 86 as a cam. 85 as a center forward. 85 as a winger. 81 as a center mid also, which is pretty solid. And 80 as a striker. So, again, probably a cam or a center mid is, is his best spot in my opinion. Um, because he just sometimes he felt a little bit too sluggish. But occasionally he will have those really good runs. I mean, he still has 92 dribbling. Uh, and very good finishing at the 90 mark. 84 long pass. 82 short pass is very solid. Good ball control. Crossing's not too bad. But agility. Uh, and balance both 81 and the pace is not amazing uh, so if, you, if you're looking for a just pure speed guy uh, a breakout winger you can get by defenders he's not that type of guy but he's a very good technical player uh, and he, he might be able to suit better suit more m might be more suitable there's the words there we go more suitable uh, in a central role for you as a center mid in some system so uh, definitely depends on your preferences and all that where you want to play him though uh, but still a very good technical player uh, I definitely will take a look at him, guys, um, if you can find a system that uh, sits, suits best for him. Oh, shit, I cannot talk right now with that, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be sending out now, and I'll catch you guys later.